Hey folks, Jordy here for Premiere Basics and welcome back to the greatest Premiere Pro channel on YouTube. Now, some of you might be wondering where is Jill who normally sits here in his chair? Well, a lot of stuff is currently happening, guys. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. I'm gonna take over this channel, but we're gonna make a separate video about that in a couple of days. And we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is huge. Already big thanks to all of you for the support as well as for Story the Blocks. They sponsored today's video. This really means a lot to us, guys. You have no idea. Uh, again, we're gonna talk more about this very soon. But now let's get spooky since Halloween is right around the corner and the new Halloween Kills movie has also just come out and as you already guessed from the title and thumbnail of this video we're going to recreate the title intro so let's dig up premiere from the grave after it got a severe crash and the first thing we're gonna do is create our text so with the text tool which you can find in the toolbar right here we're going to create a text in the program monitor now, of course we're going to make it look good with all the tools in the essential graphics panel here we have different options to stylize the text. For example, we can choose a fitting font, the size, the alignment of the text, and so on. Now we're gonna go for a thick capital text just like in the movie. Then let's add a color to the text. We need a gradient color, which we could do from the Essential Graphics panel from the Fill Color drop-down menu, but it's quite limited and we need to animate it as well, so I'm going to add the ramp effect to the text layer to achieve this. Now go to the Effects Controls panel to choose the colors. First things first, set the ramp shape to Radial Ramp and next we can place the start and end of the ramp position. You can do this in two ways, adjusting the property values in the effects controls panel or select the effect and then using the effects anchors and the program monitor. Doesn't really matter which technique you use, just make sure that the start of the ramp is in the middle and that the end of the ramp can be wherever. I placed it next to my text and this will create a small black circle where our start is. However, we want some colors in there, so choose a bright orange red color for both the start and the end color. They can be both the same. Then enable the animation for the start color by clicking on the stopwatch in the effects controls panel. Go a little bit forward in time, let's say three seconds, and here set the start color to a more light orange, leaving us with a beautiful animated radial ramp. And the next step we'll be adding a grungy text look to the text, but for this we're gonna need some grunge textures first. Luckily we've got story blocks on which we can find tons of textures. Now story blocks is an ever-growing library where you can always find high quality video assets for your project. There are 2D animations, animated backgrounds and various themes, high quality 4k stock clips which the library really excels in because there are collections giving you multiple stock clips of the same genre or location. So if your client asks for something impossible or you're just missing that one magic shot in your edit, I'm sure you'll find it on Storyblocks. Now what you're definitely gonna love as well are their After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro templates. You can find lower third animations, transitions, color presets, text animations, social icons and so much more. These all work natively inside Premiere Pro and as you can see right here I can easily adjust these templates with a click of a button and have something really cool in my edits. Now the best thing about Storyblocks is that you can download unlimited of these video assets with an active subscription. So you can just download whatever you want, try out different things without needing to worry. Now I've been using Storyblocks now for over 5 years and it has helped me on so many projects, personal and commercial projects. So I can highly recommend it, you can find out more by clicking the first link in the description down below. Now I'm gonna choose this animated paper texture, download it and bring it into Premiere Pro. Let's add it into the timeline and place it above the text. Now we are using a video which is already animated, but if you're using a picture, you might want to get some motion in there. And you can do that with a simple scale animation, making it zoom in very slowly. Then we are going to nest the texture by right clicking on it and choosing the nest option. And this nesting is to avoid a problem later on, as we're going to work with the track met effect, which ignores the motion properties. So if you're working with a video texture and you've changed the motion of it, you want to nest that as well. And now it's time to make only the text grungy. First duplicate the text layer and place it on top of everything. On this duplicate we can remove the ramp effect as we don't need it here. Then look for the track met effect in your effects library and drag that to the nested texture. In the effects controls panel we can now adjust the matte option to target video tree and boom your texture is cut out in the shape of the text. But like you can see the color is gone and we just did all of that work to get that beautiful ramp in there. 
Well, no worries guys, we can easily fix this with changing the blending mode of the nested texture. In the effects controls panel and under the opacity options, change the blending mode to multiply. And bada bim bada boom, we have our color back and a texture text. Now let's continue and start making the text reveal. Select all of your clips and nest them together like we've seen before. Of course, if you are nesting, try to give all your nested sequences proper names. You know, organization is super important, guys. And before we are going to reveal the text, let's make it more dynamic. Again, just give it a simple scaling animation, making it zoom in a little bit. Then for the reveal itself, we are again going to use a track matte effect. And the layer we're going to track matte is going to be a fractal noise layer. Now to achieve this, first create a color matte. You can do this by hitting the new item icon and the project panel and then choose color matte. Place the color matte above your nested text clip. Back in the effects library, look for the VR fractal noise effect and add this to the color mat. In the effects controls panel, you can now play around with the contrast and brightness to achieve this grungy look. Next up, enable the animation for both the contrast and brightness properties, but also the evolution property, which is gonna move the noise around. Go about 3 seconds further in time and here we want the noise to be gone. So set the contrast to 0 and the brightness to 100. And increase the evolution a little bit to give the noise some motion, but make sure that it's subtle. Now let's add that track matte effect to the text and again adjust the matte options to video 2 and to composite to matte luma. You will now already have a text reveal where the fractal noise disappears and shows the text. But there's still one more step to do and then we're done. With the color matte selected, create a circle shaped mask on the layer and animate it so that it goes from being super small and just above our first line of text to opening up, revealing the text entirely over time. Of course, you want to feather the mask, giving it an all smoother reveal. And one last thing is adding some scary epic music to your title animation, which can also be found on Storyblocks, by the way. And you're done. Ah, spooky! Now, thank you so much for liking the video and don't forget to subscribe to see a brand new Premiere tutorial every single Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always, stay creative!